Um, as, as the task of jug juggling an almost infinite number of moving parts, uh, many of which originate on GitHub, it feels like, at least, again, to my my sort of way of seeing things, it, it, it feels like that, uh, you know, development becomes an increasingly complex proposition. Uh, in cybersecurity, a lot of my guests have said that half of anything you learn today will be out of date in six months. So with so <laughs> secure software development, you know, it feels like that window might even be a little shorter and, and worryingly, it could feel a little overwhelming to jump into this line of work when it seems like there's so much existing knowledge and new knowledge to absorb quickly. It's like, like, you know, trying to merge onto a 70 mile per hour highway for from a stop position. So do you have any thoughts on breaking down the massive task of entering the software security space and getting up to the same high speed that other developers seem to live in swim in? Yeah, it's a really good question. And it can certainly on a daily basis feel that way. Um, I think if I take a step back, you know, certainly the specific tech changes at just an incredibly rapid pace. I mean, if anyone subscribes to like, you know, new cloud services coming from one of the big cloud providers, it's it's almost impossible to keep up with all the changes that are happening there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at a fundamental level, though, I don't think the fundamental tech approaches change all that regularly, right? There are some key shifts, right? The, the cloud adoption and the cloud services and SaaS and PaaS and all IaaS and all those things over the last okay. 15 years, I think is a fairly fundamental shift that we've seen. But those core principles, I think, once they're integrated into somebody's thinking and technical approach, really translate into any field. And so, you know, chasing the latest um, JavaScript framework or new cool tool can be fun, but I think the the core principles of both software development and security really um, stay the same. And so I think, you know, the second thing I'll say in that space too, is I think open source is a bit of a normalizing opportunity here. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Right. Like being able to participate in open source, see the code other people are writing, contribute, right? Like it's fairly straightforward as a new developer to go open a pull request on an open source repository and just start to be part of that ecosystem and community. And that may lead to helping fix some bugs. And that may be yeah. that may lead to becoming a maintainer and mm -hmm. answering questions for other people. And then all of a sudden that person's part of this broader technical ecosystem. And so wow. um, I, it's also probably the new form of a resume as well of, you know, yeah. send me your GitHub profile. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go yeah. Browse through and see what open source you've been, you know, contributing to. It's it's definitely something I look at when I'm looking at resumes as well. If somebody has that listed, I'll go take a browse and see oh, that's what, great. That's a great see what their chart looks like and see what yeah, they're that's a, that you know, because I think uh, people have said that for years about LinkedIn that, you know, people can, you know, in, quote unquote, endorse you for different things, but that doesn't really mean anything because you can't really look into it. But yeah, something like this where you can actually, uh, that's a really good way to sort of expand the experience the section of your resume. So I hope you all yeah. are taking notes. That's a great idea. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.